Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series by Dr. Lokendra Kumar. I have created this program to promote scientific knowledge among students and young researchers. In this episode, we will discuss about the different aspects of drug discovery and drug delivery. This presentation contains various subtopics including drug discovery, drug formulation, medical device drug combination, scientific site targeting, route of administration, quantity and duration of the drug. By the end of the episode, you will have a detailed idea about drug delivery as well as drug discovery. So please stay tuned till the end of the presentation. All right, let's start with the first part that is drug discovery. We will discuss the life cycle of a drug. Life cycle of a drug includes four distinct stages. Stage one includes the primary assay development for drug discovery, which includes target identification and assay validation, high throughput screening of compound, as well as hit validation and potency estimation. In brief, this stage includes the identification of active compounds against a particular disease. Stage two is secondary assay drug development, which include pharmacodynamics, toxicology, drug delivery system, as well as pharmacokinetics. This stage is really important. In this stage, lab tests are conducted to find out what will be the effect of the drug on a particular animal system and what will be the response of that system against the drug. Very importantly, this stage also includes the development of various novel drug delivery systems so that efficacy of the drug can be enhanced significantly when applied to a particular animal system. Stage 3 includes trial. First animal testing is performed and on the basis of results, human clinical trials are conducted. At the same time, manufacturing process development is initiated. This stage, a drug is tested in various animal system to ensure its safety to humans. Stage 4 includes licensing and marketing application. After that, FDA approves the drug and drug is available for its customer. It is very important to note down that only drug delivery market is worth 1244 billion US dollar in 2018 and its growth is projected that it will be 1694 billion dollar in 2023. Therefore, the job opportunities in drug delivery market is really high and it is going to be higher in near future. Before discussing various approaches of drug delivery, we need to understand that what happens to a drug when it enters a human body. When a drug enters in a human body, after its first dose, the concentration of drug in plasma increases and after reaching a maximum concentration, it declines. In this plot, there is an optimum concentration of the drug which is called therapeutic window of the drug. Above that is the side effect window, below that is the no effect window. And there is a particular time called duration of action for that drug where drug is affected to treat the particular disease. To maintain a particular concentration of the drug in plasma, we need to apply different doses. That's why after applying first dose, you need to apply second dose when there is a decline below the therapeutic window of the drug and then you need a third dose to actually maintain the therapeutic concentration of the drug to treat particular disease. Very important question is that why can't we apply high concentration of drug so that the concentration of drug in plasma remains higher? Answer to that question is all drug molecules are really toxic for human body organs. So you need a concentration which is below that side effect concentration, but it should be above the no effect window concentration. Therefore, to maintain the constant concentration of drug in plasma, novel drug delivery approaches are invented. These novel drug delivery systems not only helps in increasing efficacy of the drug but also helps in site directed attack of the drug molecule. They help in consistent release of the drug molecule in blood plasma therefore the concentration of the drug remains under the therapeutic value for longer period of time. Let's define what is drug delivery. The approaches, formulations, technologies for transporting a pharmaceutical compound in the body as needed to safely achieve its desired therapeutic effect is called drug delivery. The next question is why we need drug delivery. 
first is to control fluctuation of drug level second is to maintain the drug concentration within the therapeutically effective window there are two important terms in drug delivery first is pharmacodynamics which is the study of biochemical and physiological effects of drug second is pharmacokinetics it is the study that how organism affects the drug so important aspect of drug delivery includes first formulation of the drug so there are various processes and methods by which the drug is formulated in the form of tablet or in the form of a capsule second important aspect of drug delivery is medical devices there are various medical devices that are used to deliver drug inside the human body which include syringes catheters inhalers and there is a constant research going on to improve these devices so that the efficiency of drug delivery can be increased significantly. The most important aspect of drug delivery is scientific site targeting. Researchers are developing various drug delivery systems like liposomes, neosomes, nanoparticles that can efficiently deliver the drug inside the body as well as they can specifically target the tissue as well as cells to deliver the molecule at particular site of disease. Another important aspect of drug delivery is route of administration. Different routes are available for different types of drugs so it is important to note out what are the different routes and what are their efficacy. This was the brief introduction for a drug discovery platform as well as the different aspects of drug delivery. In future, I'll be making videos more specifically on various innovative drug delivery models including liposomes, neosomes and nanoparticles. So please stay tuned to the channel and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for new updates. Alright, in this note I conclude my presentation. I hope now you have a good idea about drug delivery as well as drug discovery. Please stay tuned to the channel. Please forgive my mistakes. Thank you and Namaste.